folks what's up everybody it's me again so on today uh, so yesterday I caught the fish yesterday I did a video on filleting the fish give me back my fillet of fish give me my fish so right now I'm melting some Kerrygold butter in the pan and I got Got two nice fillets. This is skin side down. I'm gonna put skin side down. I'm gonna make some crispy fillet. We uh, don't want to have the heat too high. These aren't gonna take long to cook. Basically, you probably cook both sides when they crisp the skin. Um, yeah. Then the pan, you can see them. Uh, we're just gonna slowly, I guess I'll slowly bring this heat up a little bit. Just to get a little fry going. Uh, fluke or summer flounder. It's a very delicate fish. Um, anytime I've ever cooked flounder, I've only just used butter. I don't even use flour, just some butter. Um, first time with the skin on, though. Um, and I went with the lighter side skin. I don't know, it just it looks prettier, so... Uh, I don't know. It probably has no difference in taste than the dark side of the fish. Uh, fluke flounder. It's it's a very strange fish. It's, it's a flat fish, and when it's little, it starts off like a regular fish, but then its eyes kind of roll up onto the darker colored side, and it goes on the bottom flat. So the light side goes on the bottom, and the other side, um, it it helps to camouflage the fish from predators. And um, they beat on the bottom, and that's how I caught them uh, with some squid on the bottom with a weight. And I don't know, so I'm gonna cook these puppies up, and uh, shouldn't take wicked long uh, at all. Shouldn't take wicked long at all. Um, I don't even know what I'm gonna have with it. Perhaps nothing. I'm not quite sure yet. I kind of cooked them up yesterday, but um, I had too much stuff in my fridge because I went camping and somebody was supposed to join me and they didn't, so I wanted to put extra food. So I kind of had to make a little room in my fridge. Uh, for beverages and so I had some burger and I just made a burger and potatoes and, and uh, oh I had potato salad so I ate the rest of the potato salad and the burger and uh, made some room so now uh, today I'm cooking these up to be honest with you I don't know what I want to eat with them um, Oh, smells fantastic. Oh yeah. Looking so good already. That was all about. I don't really care. I may not even have to flip these over if I do it. It's going to be real quick. I probably should have got this a bit hotter before I dropped them in, but. So uh, while I was camping, a uh, chair that I had got in March, 
to replace my other chair. I kind of leaned back a bit. Well, I was camping, just sitting by the fire and snap! And I put a dent in my van with my head. Chair broke. I returned it. Uh, decided to go with this little, this little tripod deal. Um, and it only cost half as much, so... Uh, and, and it will probably be good, better in the van uh, than a big chair, so just has no back to it. But I seen them with the, oh my god, that looks good. This smells so good. It's such a delicate fish. Smell-o-vision yet? There's man. Oh, that's good. That smells wonderful. back over again. I know it's cooked through, but I'm trying to get this skin a little crispier. I'm going to bang it on a high heat for a minute. I'm trying to get this skin crispier. It's just about perfectly cooked through. I can't wait to eat you. The best part is, I caught this out of the ocean yesterday. Me. Oh, look. Ah, dinner. Yep. Din, din, dinner. Oh my god. Oh, oh, it's bad. Oh my god. Shut the front door. Oh my goodness. Look at the skin, it's nice and crispy. Ah, oh, punchy. Oh, 
delicious. Oh man. Ah. It's flaky. Oh, the butter. Let me get that num nums off of there. Oh, some little flakies. Oh, sorry about the jumbling. The jumbles. So. Oh, you can hear it. It crunches like a potato chip. I did good. I was wishing for a striper, but I'll take this. This was good. To get my first fish out of the canal and have it be a keeper. And to be able to come on here and share with you. Ah. If you like fish, this is my one of my favorites. Probably be striper, striped bass, flounder, haddock, then cod. A salmon doesn't even make it into that category. Salmon's probably below that. Well, no, it depends on how the salmon's cooked. Oh my goodness. So I took my little hiatus to gather myself together. I let some negative comments get to me. And it basically <laughs> set out to prove people wrong. Um, yeah, I can fish. I fished in ponds my whole life. The ocean is a different beast for me. Mm. But if you think you go out there and just cast a line and catch a fish every time, there's something wrong up in your head. Just because you see a video of somebody doing such a thing, doesn't mean they didn't fish for a whole entire week before they got that fish. You don't think about that. You just think about the guy went and taught, well, first cast, yeah, probably the first cast after a hundred, or maybe four days. Um, I've been fishing at that canal for the last nine months. <laughs> nine months, I don't know. I started last August. It's the middle of June. Come up short, come up short. Happens in its own time. And you know, there's something strange that there was a guy there, he said, I've been fishing here for 30 years. I've never seen anybody catch a flounder in the canal. That made me feel really good because A, I like them, and B, I don't know when they got one in there. Oh man. This fish is so good. Mm. The fillets from the top side are a little thicker. Oh my goodness. Wow. When I used to, uh, I used to drive in Boston. I go to all the fish houses in Boston. 